I'm Grace G, and this is the senior design project that I designed with my team, um, Gage Eads, Mike Davis, and Trang Lee. Um, so we have an autonomous robotic car here. The bottom thing of the car was borrowed from the Ferris Project, which is a graduate student project headed by Nick Payne um, here at the University of Texas. And um, for everything on the top plane, we have added ourselves. Um, we also have this touchscreen controller that was built using the Luminary Micro Stellaris RDK IDM L35 reference design kit. Um, and so the goal of this system, which we named the FAR system, which stands for Find and Return, um, is for the autonomous robotic car to navigate to a transmitter or to the controller um, using RDF or radio direction finding. So I'll give you a little demo of how this works. As you can see, the controller has a touchscreen GUI that was built using the Stellaris graphics library with five different commands for the car. When you hit return to me, the car will return to the controller. When you hit find object, the car will navigate to a transmitter. When you hit webcam, the car will take a picture with its webcam and send the image back to the controller. When you hit manual car control, the uh, user will be able to manually control the car using this controller. And then when you hit map car path, um, after you hit return to me, the car um, will send data of the path that it took to get back to the controller. So I will first um, demo manual car control. Um, this is These are the different controls you can do. You can turn left, go forward, turn right, reverse, um, or stop the car, and the back button takes you back to the GUI home screen. So I will pick this up, and we will go look at the car. I even the car control. Okay. So right now I'm hitting forward. And you can see the car is traveling forward continuously until it waits for the next command. I just hit stop. Um, I just said turn left, stop. I will put it back in reverse. Okay, and here's it turning right. Ooh. All right, I'm going to now demonstrate the webcam functionality of this controller. So when I hit webcam, the car's webcam, which is mounted to the front of it, will take a picture, and then it will transfer the image data to the controller using Zigbee. But the transfer takes about 20 seconds since Zigbee has such a low bandwidth. So right now it's transferring. And there's the image. As you can see, there's a trash can. You can see the door. That's right in front of it. OK, so now I'm going to hit the back button, and it should take me back to the GUI screen. All right, I'm going to now demonstrate the return to me functionality. So when I hit return to me, yes. the car will start using its antenna, which is the big blue box on top of it, um, to use radio direction finding to find the controllers. So right now the antenna is searching for the signal strength of the controller Zigbee. <laughs> Okay, so now it's detected that it is close enough to the controller based on the strong signal that's gotten from the controller Zigbee, and the controller will tell you that the FAR car has returned. All right, that's it for the video. I shared the basic functionalities of the FAR system, and I hope you enjoyed. I would really like to thank Texas Instruments and Luminary Micro for donating the RDK IDM L35 touchscreen development kit for us to use. It was very easy to use, and it definitely helped our project a lot, and it was perfect for the controller application. Thanks. Bye.